Hi, I'm Jessica Ardeal. I am a certified body talk practitioner with the International Body Talk Association. And today we get to speak with Jennifer Games out of Boise, Idaho. Jennifer, thank you so very much for being with us. I'm excited to speak with you today. You are a physical therapist, a licensed acupuncturist, and an advanced certified body talk practitioner. So I'm really curious how that all blends together and, and getting your take and experience on things. So um, both personally and professionally, however you want to dive in, Jennifer, how were you introduced to Body Talk? Uh, well, thank you for having me, Jessica. I'm very excited to be with you today. Um, I My first uh, degree and career was a physical therapist, and I happened to be working in Florida. Um, this was back in 1998, and I started getting curious about other other energy healing modalities and start taking classes in Reiki, things like that. And through those classes, I met someone who was introduced to body talk and he was so excited about it. And he said, the class is coming next weekend. You should go. He gave me a little bit of a demonstration and I, I thought, Hey, this sounds very intriguing and I'll go. And I did. And it, um, <laughs> it was very interesting. My intuitive, side, loved it, uh, and it, and just latched on. My analytical side coming from the um, physical therapy world, it was difficult to make that leap, you know, having a system that's so easy and simple um, or, and effective with that simplicity. And it was very hard for me to unlearn some of the things I was taught as what the limitations of healing were at that time. So once I, I took the fundamentals classes and I got hooked and I've been studying it ever since. And I'm curious, Jennifer, with that, you just mentioned, you know, having to kind of step to the right of your left brain a little bit, as Dr. Jill Bolte Taylor says, right? So that piece about, um, was it just your willingness? Are you just an open-minded person? Or what would you suggest to another professional physical therapist, occupational therapist, you know, anybody in the healthcare profession about why body talk works <laughs> or yeah well for me it, it's always been a, um, a like physical therapy in my experience just seemed to be very incomplete in that you know addressing just the physical level of a problem just didn't seem to be enough for me and something like the body talk system takes in account everything your body mind spirit you know your your external environment is contributing to your health expression all of that stuff and so that part resonated the most with me you know having treating people in chronic pain and listening to their stories as as i'm treating them physically you know there is quite a benefit in physical therapy i'm not saying there isn't but knowing that oh gosh he's going through a divorce at the same time and all these other stressors contributing to the body. So that's one of the things like just in my heart, I knew that uh, there needed to be a bigger system for me that encompassed all those different levels. Yeah. And especially that emotional component, like you said, is so huge, right? We're working on the physical body, but you know, in physical therapy, you know, the word physical is in it, right? So obviously yeah. them just having that chance and that opportunity to talk, right? Don't we feel better once we kind of are able to get something out and talk about it? And then sometimes we'll find ourselves, you know, in that same loop and just repeating the same story over and over again, right? And so I like that comparison with the body. When we do body talk, it's like our body gets to go, ah, you know, somebody just heard me. I was just, you know, I, I was able to be listened to and heard. So can you speak to that a little bit at all? Do you introduce your clients to body talk um, or how do you merge those two worlds together? <laughs> That's a very good question. Uh, right now I, I have some clients that are um, strictly just body talk clients and, and other people I, I do, I haven't talked about the fact that I'm an acupuncturist yet, but uh, some people I do do a lot of needles with them as well in the treatment. Um, I, I like to combine the two. That's, that's one of my favorite things about body talk is that it can integrate into any system. 
and I like to use the body talk first in a, during a session. And then through that, sometimes the other modalities come up like the acupuncture. And sometimes acupuncture comes up, but not even for needling, maybe just stimulating the points in a different way of, with other things that I, I have, like the pellets or the magnets that you just attach to the points. And sometimes a manual therapy technique will come up from my physical therapy background, but it all integrates very well together. And I, I really like that about that. Yeah. And, and it's like you, you don't have to figure it out, right? That client's innate wisdom is guiding you. And it's just being open to, I think, honoring that person and honoring that individual rather than, you know, telling everyone what to do or telling the body what to do. Right. And, and yeah. not just you specifically, obviously, but, you know, um, so do you have one or two case studies or maybe a few um, sample session stories that really just kind of stick out to you? Um, yeah, you know, there, I like little things with, um, even though my background is in physical therapy, I mean, I have great stories of physical things, uh, but my heart is always more attached to mental, emotional, and spiritual things that shift for people. The majority of my clients come in with a physical ailment, whether that's back pain or neck pain, digestive issues, um, things like that, headaches. And one, I had one young gal who's an athlete, and she had about three years, three or four years of chronic knee pain and three orthoscopic surgeries to try to repair it, and it just didn't resolve itself. And she was a hurdler in track. So she came to me. I don't know how she found me, but she came to me. I did three sessions with her, and after the second session, she started running again, which she hadn't been able to do because of the pain. And she, by the, her third session, she came back and she said, I just started running. I ran a mile. No pain. This hasn't happened in over a year. And after the third session, she, she went back to running and training, and I didn't see her again. And, and um, I thought that was, that was just fun. You know, it's just that's kind of like the – the easy ones. I don't know if I can say that or not. Um, you know, people, people are ready when they're ready to shift. You know, I've, I've helped a lot of women. Um, I don't know if you want to use this or not. <laughs> I help a lot of women let go of relationships that aren't working anymore. You know, when you feel like you just can't get over someone or you, I don't, and I don't know if that's coming from a belief system. I mean, I've been there myself, but that's one of the things I really like about the body talk system is you can, you can move through emotions. You can let go of things quickly. If, if you're ready, you just need that extra little push. Uh, I'm, so, I'm so glad you brought that up, Jennifer, because that's <laughs> huge. I mean, think about it, you know, you don't have to, um, you know, go to a therapist or a psychologist, you know, to address, you know, the emotional body in the mind. Body talk allows us to tap into that emotional subconscious function, which I love. And, you know, in often cases, we don't even have to, you know, relive that painful memory or that trauma that came up, right? The body can work yeah. on it on its own. And so it's just so fascinating how those subtle subtle little things can add up to make the biggest differences, like you said, right? And in that example you shared, Jennifer, I'm just wondering what your thoughts on are, you know, if someone gets amazing results like that in just a short amount of time and in, in three sessions, you know, they got their lives back, so to speak, why don't you think somebody would keep exploring the system to find out what else their body is trying to tell them? And maybe you know, not that individual specifically, but in general. Yeah, well, that's that's one of the things that I I am continuing to be a body talk practitioner on a, for my personal reasons. In that health, for me, the physical expression of health has always been tied to personal evolution, and I love that about the body talk system. Is is just your I mean, we all want to be better than we were last year on whatever level that is. Uh, we want to feel better. We want to be better than who we were. And that has been such a drive for me. I'm not sure why, but the body talk system has definitely been a key player in that and helping me do that. And so, yeah, you can uh, 
get or resolve a physical symptom, but you're always going to be challenged by something in life on, on, on any kind of stressor at work or relationships. Um, it just the crazy thoughts going through your own mind uh, that need to be, need to be resolved or need to be dealt with so that, you know, you can evolve. And, and that, that's one of the major things I do love about the system. It's very good for that. And too, not only in conversations with other body talkers, but, you know, Dr. Bruce Lipton's work and the list goes on and on of how the emotions are anchoring in that physical sensation, right? And compounding and, and sometimes blocking that physical healing. It's just, I think we're entering a new dimension of awareness of what our body can really do for us. And I love, you know, turning that expression into ask not what your body can do for you, but what you can do for your body. So is there a personal um, aspect or story that you can share about how a session made a direct impact on you, Jennifer? Yeah, well, the most significant, you know, dramatic uh, one for me happened really early on where I had just had the, the fundamentals class. Um, this was when I was uh, living in Florida. I was single and my mother was going to come visit me. She, um, we were living, she lives from Illinois and I was living in Florida at the time. So it was a big trip for her. She was going to spend a week and the week before she arrived, my lower back started hurting and my lower back's kind of a barometer of stress levels in my life. It kind of goes in and out under major things. So by the time she arrived, my back had gotten progressively worse that week. And I got her from the airport, brought her up, carried her suitcase up, and then I couldn't stand up. My back pain was like a nine out of 10. And I just felt really awful. I was, I, I couldn't move. And just in so much pain. And my mom's pretty open, but she had never taken body talk or wasn't introduced to it. But I asked her, would you mind just trying this out with me? I'm gonna have you be the practitioner, but I will ask the questions, what's the priority, things like that. And we, we kind of fumbled through it, but it worked well. It was about a 20 minute session. And there, there was definitely one environmental connection between the two of us. I don't remember the details or what came up, but there was a connection there. Other things came up, we tapped it out, and uh, I needed to lie there for another 30 minutes. It was a pretty heavy session. I felt a lot of energy moving around. So she went back out to the living room. I lied on, the, on my table for another 30 minutes and then decided, felt like, okay, it's safe to get up now, and I got up. It was late, so we both went to bed. But the next morning, my back pain was virtually gone. I'd say like 99% better. I, I could move. There was no feeling of instability. It was, it, I was, it was amazing to me. I thought, okay, I've had this before. It usually takes weeks, sometimes months for it to resolve. And it was gone overnight just because of that uh, link that we did. And my mom, we had a great week. My mother and I, we bonded more. She, I found out more stories about her. She opened up. Uh, it was a great week. And, you know, she can visit me now without my back. <laughs> Going out. <laughs> it's amazing to hear all of these miraculous stories. It just seems so like you have to experience it almost to really get that it's possible, <laughs> right? And you brought up a really good point I just want to elaborate on is that piece around, you know, your mom hadn't been familiar with body talk, but with your experience, you were able to work her through it and still the system worked, right? And I always um, am aware of the debate where skeptics will say, well, how can anybody just use it? Then, you know, it just, there's, doesn't seem to be, and you know what I'm saying. So yeah. the point of my question is why I'm asking this is I'm not really sure actually, quite honestly, because it almost doesn't matter. Like if someone's not ready for body talk, they don't have to have a session. It really is a luxury, but to be able to experience that and go in at all levels and have that profound change, it just takes that willingness, right? It's just that willingness. And if you have a willingness to learn more, you can help open up someone else's world completely, right? Just in that your mom being able to open up now too. And, you know, and so it just opens up so many dimensions and allows us to explore so much. But I need to stop talking because this is about you. So um, do you have any other um, stories that you want to share that pop up with clients um, or yourself? 
Uh, yeah, well, the one that I, I find fascinating because this, this part, it was hard for me to believe in the beginning, but the whole thing about distant sessions, uh, and, and this is almost, this is kind of half distance sessions, but I do have a client that has several children, young children, and she'll come in once in a while for her own balancing, but she'll come in to balance her children. And uh, when she's on the table, we ask, you know, who's the priority? And we have permission from her children and uh, from her to use her as the surrogate. And so we'll give sessions on her children who are at home and she's here in the office with me and she'll come back and report, yeah, you know, they shifted, their behaviors changed, she's not crying anymore, the drop of a hat and, and um, all these other things, just on a more uh, mental, emotional a grounding change in their behavior, which she was very grateful for. <laughs> no, no, yeah. So, and I love that part. And, um, but that, that whole distance thing, it, uh, I, it's, it's amazing, but you know, with quantum physics and all that, it, it's definitely a big part and it definitely, we know we are affected by that field. So it's def it definitely works. And so you do offer both in-person and distant sessions over Skype or with anybody anywhere can reach out and have a session with you, right? So yes. um, we can find your bio on www.bodytalksystem.com, the International Body Talk Association website. Is there any other way we can reach out and connect with you, Jennifer? Yeah, well, I have a website that's more about my local practice, and that's www acuboise.com, A-C-U-B-O-I-S-E.com. And there'll be some information there as well. Cool. So um, any other encouragement or insights about, you know, I, I have family members in the healthcare field and I'm pretty sure they're still skeptical about body talk, right? So it's really that experience. Um, what can you do to really invite somebody or is it really just up to them and you have to let it go? Say you're getting a body talk session and, and your partner is not, you know, but you're noticing all these benefits and you really want them to do it. Or how do you work with those dynamics if people, I guess, just aren't doing what you want? <laughs> <laughs> I have learned from experience not to push anybody. I try to live by example and uh, that's, what's been a survival part for my own marriage, actually. I don't wish a body talk on my family at all. Uh, I, I like to just have who's going to be attracted to it come. You know, there's a, a population out there. For me, I, I usually attract a lot of people who, who are aware of the fact that, you know, your mind, body, spirit isn't separate. And even though you may have a physical complaint, the the um, session might focus on on an emotion that's stored there or a belief system or, or you know tension that's happening in the workplace or something like that that um, basically whatever comes up is what is ready to shift in that client and that's where the fun is you never know what you're ready to shift you never know what the client is ready for and you know we all love the big grandiose dramatic shifts but not everyone's on that speed uh, perhaps at the moment that they're in your treatment room so uh, everything is is um, you know grace uh, no matter what happens uh, during the session and, and uh, I just I'm, I welcome that and you know I come from a very skeptical background so it it took me it, it, it you got to just know what resonates with you. I, I enjoy skeptics. That's fine. I am one myself. So I can understand if people are just like, oh, I don't know about this, but it's fun. It's not invasive. I can tell you that. And you just get to relax. So for anybody who is questioning it, just keep investigating. Just keep talking to other people who've had sessions. Wow, that's I think that's the best thing. Yeah. And for me, having body talk over the years, it's like it all just kind of, you know, piles up too, where you just finally have this grand panoramic view and 
for me personally, you know, that's been my experience. I haven't had the physical shifts that I've had to address physically. So it's been a lot of the emotional, energetic body. And that just makes the world of difference, you know, to be comfortable in your body, physical, mentally, emotionally. Um, so thank you for all that you do, Jennifer. I really appreciate you carrying the torch there in Idaho and, and letting your light shine and attracting the right people that are ready and willing and open to have the experience of you know, trusting themselves, tapping into their intuition and, and really experiencing the miracles that their body has. So before we go, is there anything that you want to share? Oh, I am just so thankful that you're doing this and spreading the word. And I think it's a great, a great thing that you're doing. And, and hopefully we can, we can get a lot more information out there for people to, to find us and find or find the system, basically yeah. find body talk. Yeah, for sure. Cool. Well, thank you so much. And we will be hearing more from you soon. I have a feeling. So bye for now, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. We'll chat soon. Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you. <laughs>